The House of Light brings clarity to your soul, offering a safe space for healing through our compassionate practitioners, services, classes, and wisdom, plus the tools to support you in our retail space. Wishbone Fried Chicken is back in a brand new location, 31 Jackson Street, Sweet A here in Noonan. Same great taste, the best chicken around, fish dinners. Open Monday through Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's Wishbone Fried Chicken, right next door to their former location, bringing you the best chicken around. So great. Wishbone Fried Chicken, 31 Jackson Street, Sweet A, here in Noonan. This is MJ Graham with Columbus Road Dragons, your home for Road Dragons hockey, Noonan 99 Rock. The views and opinions of this show and program are not the views and opinions of this station, its management, or its clientele. Good morning. Welcome to WQEE 99.1. I'm Donna. And I am Bruce. And this is Lyrical Lyrical Wisdom. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Donna. How are you today? I am fabulous, thank you. How are you? You know, I am too. Um, It's kind of strange sitting here because I'm looking at the dark dark cloud outside. (laughs) But you know what? All I see is sunshine. I couldn't agree with you more. (laughs) Uh, I walk in this morning to the radio station and you and Christy are doing this beautiful show before I even came in to, you know, start speaking on this microphone. And I feel like this place is just blessed right now. So, yeah, I can't tell you guys out there listening how much sunshine. I know there's light in this room, and I know it looks dark outside, but this play is this place is a ray of hope, that's for sure. And uh, I think it's all your guys' fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's thanks to Ryan and WQEE 99.1 FM. Absolutely. Thank and you. And all of you, each and every one of you that tune in every morning to this show yes this is what creates the light and the love and spreads the joy and happiness and, yes. and the word it does yeah 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 so is... thank you each and every one of you thank it you. is because of you that we are here absolutely and we absolutely. appreciate you so absolutely. so much thank yeah. you yes we're excited about this song this morning because uh we've had a little more time i think with this song And I'm grateful for that because I'm excited about it. And uh, I don't want to give it away, but um, (laughs) this is something that I'm really looking forward to this morning. Well, because um, this song came to us and, well, we have um, my daughter, Allison. She's a great helper and she does a lot of recommendations as far as songs. Yes. Thank you, Allison. Yes. Thank you, Allison. And while we were discussing this um, or trying to find a song and we found this song, she mentioned something about this artist and maybe another or that several artists yes. actually yes. Yes. have made a comment about how they write their lyrics. Yes. And it was quite fascinating to me because you and I are here, Bruce, to find the wisdom in we the are. lyrics. We are. We are constantly looking for that and and generally have a little bit of a positive spin on it. Mm-hmm. You know, we, mm-hmm. we don't mind admitting that because um, it's it's really uh, our intention to find the hope and the light in, in things rather than, you know, to look for darkness, if right. you will. It just is uh, just like this morning. Um, but, you know, this is very interesting and I can't yes. wait. I can't wait. I don't want to, I don't want to make everybody. Well, let's, let's tell everybody gotcha. the reason why we chose this song. Word salad. salad. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to make sure I was going to say that with you. But yes, it is exactly fascinating. Is fascinating. I had never heard that before. And I've heard those. I've heard the words word salad before. Mm-hmm. But now I understand where somebody might have gotten the inspiration to say those words. Because if artists out there that are writing music happen to have a conversation with somebody and they say that some of their inspiration comes from utilizing this i would call it maybe a technique oh you know i don't know but you know like i i i I can't even i don't know how to you know i don't know how else to to put it but it sounds to me like they kind of admitted it at one point that you know they they use this this idea they use word salad (laughs) and they and they um 
and that's how they can help themselves come up with lyrics. And I, I was just blown away. You were, we were, that yeah, just blows me away. But I, now I understand. Maybe that's where that came from. I'm, not, I'm, I have to admit, I really don't know what word salad is. And there may be some other people out there that are like, okay, so what's word salad? Yeah, what the heck are they talking about? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Do I, you know I what word salad is? I've kind of, you know what? That is a very good point because for a long time. This has given me the most context to that phrase. Okay. Because otherwise, before, I just kind of thought it was jumbled words. Hmm. I didn't know what else to think of it. Okay. You know, like somebody took some random things and put them together, and technically, if that's vegetables, you could call that a salad. <laughs> you know? I mean, and, and then we have different ways of referring to salad, so I really did think of it that way. But you're right. That's really funny. You just uh, you just really brought that out, because yeah. I, yeah. I didn't even think about that, is that I didn't even know what it, it was. I was the person using those words at times, and I didn't know what they meant. Wow. I think it has something to do with rhyming. In other words, they just throw a bunch of words out that could rhyme with the word so that, you know, the flow. That's, yeah, you go. were saying that we were talking about this before, mm-hmm. and, and when you said that, I thought, uh-huh. oh, my gosh. But then, you know, that means that, it could be any word that comes next. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but isn't it beautiful how sometimes those words, when they come together, can have wisdom in and them? And that was... Let's let this... Yeah, yeah before so, I um, finish that the, the band that mentioned that they use word salad <laughs> is Steely Dan. Yeah. And our song today is Reeling in the Years. Seems so appropriate seeing as how... We really, really need... I mean, the past three years have been a doozy. They have been And so here we are, 2024, Reeling in the Years yes. by Steely Dan. Your everlasting summer, and you can see it fading fast. So you grab a piece of something that you think is going to last. Well, you wouldn't even know a diamond if you held it in your hand. The things you think are precious... I can't understand. Are you reeling in the ears? Stowing away the time. Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? Are you reeling in the years? Stowing away the time. Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? You've been telling me you're a genius since you were 17. In all the time I've known you, I still don't know what you mean. The weekend at the college didn't turn out like you planned. The things that pass for knowledge, I can't understand. Are you reeling in the years, stowing away the time? Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? Are you reeling in the years, stowing away the time? Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? I've spent a lot of money, and I've spent a lot of time. The trip we made to Hollywood is etched upon my mind. After all the things we've done and seen, you find another man. The things you think are useless, I can't understand. Are you reeling in the years, stowing away the time? Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? Are you reeling in the years, stowing away the time? Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? Amazing. (laughs) Amazing. So, your everlasting summer. And you can see it fading fast. So you grab a piece of something that you think is going to last. Um, every every time they finish a sentence in this, it reminds me of what I was... Uh, before we read the song, I, I'm glad that Donna started to read it simply because what I was going to say is the randomness of thinking of word salad in its own way. Finding a word that rhymes with another word, whether it is random or not, we can now know in this song it fits. Not just fits, but it works out. And to me, it's almost like... Uh, I'm going to fall back on a sigh of relief thinking the universe understands. The universe provides. Oh, it does. 
Yes. And so that is where I feel like, you know, inspiration, inspiration. (laughs) Yes. And, and that is where the, the trust in that moment of really feeling to me, what Steely Dan, I would assume through this song felt is something that the universe provides simply that those two words, the universe is, or the three, the universe is providing, or however you think Mm -hmm. of that phrase, Mm -hmm. because I think of that when I think of these song lyrics coming together not just as words that rhyme but also that phrases that that mean something because i just feel that when you read this you listen to the song Mm -hmm. you know one of the iconic parts of this song is the guitar and i i I am certain that when we read these songs sometimes you're thinking where's that guitar solo because (laughs) oh my gosh when you hear it it just it's kind of like what christy said when she smells sage it takes you someplace. Mm. And to me, that frequency that we tap into with scent and with music is something that is so iconic with this song. And I think that really that's where I feel it in this song is if Steely Dan was using a technique of like thinking of words that just rhyme together and then how can we make that work with the lyrics that we're putting together, the universe definitely provided with this song. Oh, yeah. Because it is just such a, it just grabs you and takes you. And I, I love that. I was listening to it before I came in this morning, and yeah. it is just so great. I'm sorry to take up so much time with no, that, no, but yeah, no. it is. I mean, that's I I heard a long time ago that the word inspiration means in spirit. So when you're inspired to do something, or you're inspired to write something, you've got spirit in you. Wow, you're, you're doing yeah. it through. Through the universe, source, God, whatever we choose to call that spirit that is within us, yes. the divinity. Yes. So that's the word inspiration yeah. comes from inspire, which comes from in spirit, the Latin root word. Oh my gosh, amazing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah. And then, um, I love, I mean, every, every summer you want it to be everlasting oh my gosh right yes. oh your everlasting one. summer and you can see you can it see it fading fast i mean yeah. it happens i think to everybody and oh if it gosh. doesn't i i i don't know there's something about summer there is and you just want to grab a piece of you something that you think to is going to last forever yeah. and it's 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 a great great it is it's funny time of and, year. It, and and it's also a, a nice Kind of comment on youth in its own way because when kids have that summer break mm-hmm. I remember being a kid and just like it, it seems so fleeting and I think that's what that next line kind of leads me to is that at that time you know I definitely know that I wouldn't even know a diamond if I held it in my hand because the things I thought at that time are precious how could this gentleman understand. Yeah, can't how understand. could anybody understand? You know, yeah. I, yeah. I was at that time so caught up in whatever that summer moment was, it it didn't occur to me to try to acknowledge that moment and be in that moment. Yeah, and that was the that's the part that I feel like it, you know, is the diamond. Is that you know I forget, and and I don't believe that's wasted on youth. I don't think that at all. I do believe that youth are youth and they're wonderful and beautiful. It's just that when I was young, the diamond that I held in my hand was that time of summer. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I identify with that Mm -hmm. in this song. And I think that's what carries through in our adulthood. Yes. You know, it's, it's that yearning for those summers back Yes, where we can just be young and free and, and you know, not care exactly yeah. <laughs> about what's going on in the world <laughs> yeah because then of course the chorus kicks in with are you reeling in the years mm-hmm. stowing away the time because as adults that's what i find a lot of times it's like people want to go back to something they remember from before mm-hmm. there's that clinging not able to let go of something that they felt gave them some sort of they, they grab a piece of something that they think they that is it's going to last mm-hmm. and then in the future as we move into our future we stow away that time gathering up those reeling in those years and gathering up the tears thinking of our things that we want from the past you know it's it's kind of crazy but when you read that line are you reeling in the years <laughs> i literally saw 
Okay, I saw you. <laughs> I don't know who I saw. I just saw a person with a fishing pole. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you cast it out there and you start reeling it back in. Are you reeling in those years that yeah. you think you've lost? Yeah. Stowing away the time. Time, because we want to keep it. Can you really stow time? I don't. What is time? Time is... A, 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 you when, know, when you begin to wake up, you realize... It's a construct. Right. That's what I wanted to say before I stop because you know it, it isn't it is it, time is truly constructed is something that we have created for ourselves because past present future are all happening right now right and and it's uh, it's inter- and when you get into the thought process of that it's hard to unravel but I agree you can't you cannot stow away time yeah as much as we want to no. and a lot of us ask for more time we do um, time is irrelevant. It is absolutely irrelevant. Because it really doesn't exist. No, <laughs> it does not. But but in this reality, uh, we are so accustomed to being linear. Yes, we are. Which is time. It is. Which is morning, noon, and night. If anybody thinks of linear thought, that is part of exactly how we think. Day to yes. day. Week to week, month to month, and this is year our and, and year. this is absolutely our waking mind doing its a little bit of its job, its linear yeah. thinking process. Right, and that is beautiful, Donna, because right. that that's the part that that is a it's our it's our like our framework. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like um, okay, I feel better now because I can understand this existence. Right, right. You know. Yeah, yeah. So. Gathering up the tears. Have you had enough of mine? <laughs> Very deep. And I can't, like, thinking of word salad, I can't believe that they came up with that line, those two lines. Like, this song just uh, blew me away. It's just, yeah, are you gathering up the tears? Like, the, you know, um, I know that sadness, sometimes we think of feeling sad or, or things that, are, that makes us, make us feel a little sad are, like, kind of, bad things if you will you know Mm -hmm. but sometimes we need to feel that emotion yeah well it's also for me I'm also seeing it as in their process of reeling in the years and Mm -hmm. stowing away the time yes they continue hurting yes those around them yes um and they cause tears they cause sadness they cause grief or whatever we want wish to call that yeah um I do know in this process, you know, that um, Steely Dan is, is, is hurt. Yeah. Um, and we have a choice now to be able to, to move past that hurtness and not allow those tears to be taken from us. Yeah. So have you had enough of mine? Cut it off. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what he's saying here. I couldn't agree more. Is he's like, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't have any more of my tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I've, know. you know, you've, you know, you're... There's been creation of tears. There's been feeling of tears. We've had enough. Mm-hmm. It's time to allow for forgiveness. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because I think that's what he goes on to say. You've been telling me you're a genius yes. since you were 17. <laughs> so he was with this woman. Obviously, that's what this song is about. But we're opening it up to be yeah, yeah, yeah. worldly. Yes, yes, Because yes. it doesn't have to be a girlfriend. No. It can be, it can be a, a child and a parent. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. It can be, you know... Your child that's 17 and, and just has really been that, you know, renegade or rebel that, that brings you to tears yes. all the time, you because know, they because they're a to, genius. Yeah, they know everything about life. And, <laughs> and they also, they also are, they are, they're sowing their own seeds out there. They're trying to figure it out. And that is sometimes hard to have to witness. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And. And in all the and uh, you've been telling me you're a genius since you were 17, and all the time I've known you, I still don't know what you mean. Yeah. And I love that because, you know, that's exactly around that time that we were just discussing. But it is also something that um, 
you know, if you know someone, as long as some of these people and some of us know each other, you know, some of us have truly lifelong friends and people that have been in our life for a very long time. And so thinking of this, aside from using word salad as a, a way of looking at it, grabbing the word 17 and then, you know, I still don't know what you mean. It truly is a deep statement because that is where a lot of us sometimes are. Yeah. What do you mean you're a genius? Right. And you know everything? Because we also change over <laughs> yeah. time. We, yeah. you know, change is natural. And, and we also, you know, could be somebody that we know could be sitting there telling us I'm a genius their entire life. And, I, you know, you could sit back and look at your friend with your tongue in your cheek and think, I still don't know what you mean. Well, you know? because it says the weekend at the college didn't turn out like you planned. <laughs> the was, things that pass for knowledge, I can't, I can't understand. understand. And that is very, that it's another one that's so deep because knowledge is not wisdom. Right. Knowledge is knowing things. Yeah. And, and you know, sometimes I think of those, I remember people calling those factoids. <laughs> You, know, little you can pieces. go to college and you can learn this and you can learn that. Yeah. But have you really learned life? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because that is, I think, the one thing that, well, I know surprises everyone. Life is always a surprise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You begin to, and you find it, I mean, a lot of times I believe this is what happens. Yeah. You know, they're 17, they're, you know the everlasting summer and you know and then they go to college and it's like whoa wait a minute and they do they begin reeling in the, reeling years, in the years stowing away the time because we're looking back on the things that were before and it was so much easier and yeah um and there you know when you think of the words homesick mm. you know the words homesick to me come to my mind right now because it makes me think of the fact that people are thinking about being at home because that's where that comfort zone is that comfort food is yeah they're, they've reeled in the years and they've stowed away that time and now they're thinking about you know those things in a melancholy way because where they are isn't making them think of where they are they're thinking of the thing from before i was gonna say i really see steely dan or i'm going very deep in yeah. into these lyrics because it's it is it's like the the young, innocent child, the everlasting summer. Yeah. And then they began to realize that summer doesn't last. Forever, no. So then they began to grab a piece of something they think mm -hmm. is going to last. Yeah. And with their naivety or their youngness, you know, they began to, to hold on to things they think are precious. And important. Mm-hmm. And then they grow up. 17, they go away, they well, go to they, college. They do, they get a older and they start mm -hmm. to say, you know, they, they really start to try to prove that they know everything. Mm -hmm. I remember feeling like I knew everything and who the heck are anybody else to tell me what I know? And so for me, this is just, he's, he's now old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And mm -hmm. he's like, I've spent a lot of money and I've spent a lot of time. That trip we made to Hollywood, it's etched upon my mind. Yeah. You know, and it's I forever. think, why do you think he said, or Steely Dan, why do you think Hollywood was mentioned? Because I think that that is their reference to their story. Mm -hmm. I think that in their way, and that to me makes the word salad have that personal, intimate relationship with the artist. Yeah. That they are putting a little bit of their feeling and story into this. And so, I do think Hollywood has a big... Um, definition attached to it when it's, you think of celebrity Hollywood, yes yeah. you think of stardom you and think of success of making it yeah. success yes you know i'm in hollywood in the cameras and popular right, and, right. And, and, mm -hmm. know, that's and where all the beauty and mm -hmm. all of the mm -hmm. things that we're told that we're supposed to yeah. be yeah that's where all the stars are in hollywood <laughs> Yeah, so I I really, I like that reference to Hollywood. I do too. Because it doesn't, for me, it doesn't mean that they physically went to Hollywood. No. Okay? <laughs> no, not at all. It is right. simply what we have as that, a construct. That, mm -hmm. that trip, you know, it could mean marriage. It could. You know, because, you know, hey, we decided to do it. To, yeah. To, you know, to reach for the stars. Yes, we did. We, we shot for it. 
and that was that's how they make that reference because Steely Dan really made it. Yeah, as a band, they were wow, you know, huge. Yeah, and and yeah. very successful. Yeah, and they spent a lot of money and a lot of time. The trip they made to Hollywood is etched upon their minds. After all the things we've done, and you and seen, you find another man. The things you think are useless, I can't understand. I think that man in this is used for the things that we found about this song, the word salad in its own way. I think that this is a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The words that are the things that mean something in a deeper t context, but it's a story. We usually, metaphor. Yes, Thank exactly. You. I was going to say, yeah. Everybody's it holding their breath. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, <laughs> metaphor, yes. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that, you know, this is a relationship and a breakup. No, it yeah. is a relationship and a breakup, but it's a relationship with life. It is, yes. And, and you found something else. Yes. Whether it's, um, you know, another person yeah. or another way of being. Yeah. Or another place to live. Yes. Or another job. Another, yeah. you know, whatever it is that you personally yeah. are divorcing from. <laughs> A very good, very I good think way of saying that's it. what yes. man is in this sentence. Yes, absolutely. You and know? The things you think are useless, I can't understand. Meaning, you know, now, if looking at this as the senior person looking back on life, uh -huh. they could be looking at themselves thinking, why? Exactly. Did you think that those things were useless? If I had just thought, if I just knew what I know now. <laughs> right. That <laughs> <Yeah>. time. Yes. <laughs> about reeling in the years yes. and stowing away the time. Yes. yes. So, yeah. I, I can envision just an old man in a rocking chair. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, going, wow, I sure did stow away a lot of time. Some of you guys that might I think. I wish we're... I hadn't have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, looking back. All the tears, everything, you know, experienced through the years, yeah. kept trying to get it back, kept trying yep. to get it back, kept trying to get it back. Yeah. And, and the things we've seen and done, and you find another man. For me, that's that little saying, the else. grass is always yep. greener on, on the, the other, other side. side. Yes. So it can be, it, this can be personal, it can be it just can. a person. You know, realizing oh my gosh, yeah. that, you know, wow, okay, and, and <laughs> I spent my life, you know, looking for another man or yeah. looking for another thing, yeah. you know, something else. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was, that, and everything that I thought before I, you know, that I had, I thought was useless. And, you know, this is kind of funny because, you know, as we, as we look at this, I think, you know, sometimes we learn this lesson. And then we meet people that we realize are still learning that lesson. Yes. And sometimes we think to ourselves, gosh, they just haven't moved on. They're still reeling in, in the, the years, years and stowing away, away the time. The time. Yes. Yeah, gathering, gathering up, the, up tears. the tears. And then, yep. you know, they, they, they want others to join them in this process. So we can step back and think, well, I guess they've, you know what, you've had enough of mine. Yeah. You know, yes. and that's why I think, yeah. you know, gently and generously and kindly, we can all just step back and allow them to have their space and to feel those feelings because they're going to need to feel yeah. those feelings. Yeah. And it, it, once again, can be personal. It can. Have you cried enough? <laughs> exactly. Have you, have you had enough tears of your own? You and, know? Yeah. And I, have I, you I just can't get had enough of my, yes. right? I mean, I am so tired of crying. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a um, beautiful song. Oh, my gosh, with so much to it. Yeah, yeah. So, Steely Dan, Reeling in the Years. Thank you. Thank you out there. Thank you so much for being here. Send in your, uh, your uh, requests at lyricalwisdomshow at gmail.com. Send them to lyricalwisdomshow at gmail.com. Thank you.